Hi Sparkles! Before we start this video, make sure to check out my merch and accessories on my shop on www.cocosparkles.shop. There are a lot of amazing designs just waiting for you. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Roblox to show your amazing love. The link will be in the description down below. Be sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on your notification bell so you can enjoy my weekly content. Love you, Sparkles! Arthur? Arthur, come downstairs, honey. We're going to be late. Coming, Mom. Okay, I'm here. Good. Did you get the gift? Yeah, it's right here. Perfect. Um, Mom? Who's this gift for? Well, we're going to my boss's daughter's birthday party. And this gift is for her. Oh, wow! A birthday party? Yeah, and she's the same age as yours. So, I hope you guys will get along pretty well. <laughs> and a friend? <laughs> That's right! Now let's go! Oh, wow! This place is huge, Mommy! Oh, Miss Harper. I'm so glad you came. Thank you so much for coming. It's my pleasure, sir. <laughs> oh, and who's this little young man? <laughs> What's your name, dude? It's Arthur. Nice to meet you. Well, it's good to see you. Well, let me call my daughter. Ruby? Ruby? Over here, honey. Coming, Daddy! <laughs> She's coming. And that's how I met Ruby. Everything was so perfect about her. <laughs> Literally everything about her. Yes, Daddy. Ruby, meet Miss Harper. And this is her son, Arthur. You wanted to meet them, right? Mm-hmm. Hello there. Would you like to come and join us? I'd love to. <laughs> Amazing. Come on. <laughs> I hope they get along well. Nah, don't worry about it, Miss Harper. My daughter is very simple and kind. Thanks so much, sir. Well, you can also join the party. Thanks so much, sir. Hello, guys! <laughs> we have a new guest over here. His name is Arthur. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Oh, hi there, Arthur. It's so good to meet you. You can team up with me, Arthur. Oh, thanks. Uh, wait. No, you teamed up with me. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, uh, I'm so sorry, Arthur. I can't. It's not a problem. You can join me, Arthur. Will it be okay for you? Oh, it's all good. Come on, join me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, hey mom, do you know what? Yes, honey? You're the best mom ever. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and? Uh, you're just so cool and, um... What's up with all this nice behavior, huh? Um, Mom, I want to talk to you about something. Good, now to the main point. Uh, you know Ruby, right? Your boss's daughter? Yeah, what about her? We've become really good friends and I was wondering if I could invite her over to our place. Um... Please, Mom. Please don't say no. <sighs> Listen, Arthur. Our life compared to hers is a lot different. We're not the same. She will never come to a tiny house like this one. I don't believe it, Mommy. We're really good friends. I know that, honey. But hey, look. I work there. I'm just a maid there. 
And if anything bad happens, I might lose my job as well, son. Try to understand. <sighs> I guess. All right, mom. <sighs> Mom, I'm heading off to school. Wait, wait. <sighs> doing little young man oh why do you look so sad um is everything okay oh i'm fine just heading off to school on my skateboard on your skateboard wow do you know how to skateboard oh man i loved riding on skateboard when i was your age uh yeah <laughs> you can hop in my dad's car and he can drive you to the school of course i was about to say that my daughter is really smart isn't she? Yeah, and she's very kind, too. <laughs> Thanks. All right, kids. Time to go before you get any late. Thanks for the offer, but I... I can't. If Mom finds out... Oh, come on, boy. I'll manage. Hop in. Come on, Arthur. Please. Okay, then. <laughs> Let's go. Yes! <laughs> This is a wonderful place, Ruby. <laughs> My mommy used to bring me here. And I always come to make a wish or just find peace. Do you miss your mom? Hmm. Yeah, I do. I was only four years old when my mom died in a car accident. <sighs> do you miss your dad? No, I don't. He didn't even care about me, or even Mom. All he ever did was drink, and just shout at me and Mom. It must have been a very hard time for you, right? <clears throat> yeah. I would see my friends hanging out with their dads, and I'm just left out. It hurts. Hey, do you want to make a promise? What kind of promise? Do you promise me that... Once we get older, you'll be mine? Just mine? <laughs> I love that! So, do you, uh, promise? Pinky promise! <laughs> Pinky promise! <laughs> and that's how our friendship started. A close friendship. But, little did I know, there was something which was gonna happen, and it would break us apart. This is me, after 10 years, still dreaming about that one beautiful girl named Ruby. I'm waiting for you, come quick. <laughs> this girl. Mom, I'm leaving. I'll be back soon. Wait, wait. Where are you going? Going out for some important work. I'll be back. Bye. Love you. <laughs> love you too. <laughs> He's probably going to meet Ruby. <laughs> I'm here. You're one minute and 25 seconds late. Would you like to explain why? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. So, why would you call me here? Well, you know Jax, right? Uh, I think I do. The guy with the purple hair in our school? Yes, yes, that's him! Oh, well, what about him? I think I'm in love with him. 
Ouais. Coming, who is it? Hello. <laughs> oh, it's you, Natasha, dear. <laughs> How are you doing, sweetie? I'm doing perfectly fine. <laughs> I brought this for you and Arthur, since Arthur really likes burgers. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, dear. You didn't have to bring it. You're welcome here anytime. <laughs> it's not a big deal, so don't worry. <laughs> By the way, where's Arthur? He's probably in his room doing assignments. Okay, can I go? Of course, of course! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I know it's you, Natasha. Oh my gosh! <laughs> How did you even guess it, huh? <sighs> um... Is everything good? You seem upset. <sighs> Ruby likes someone. What? Again? But... I thought she recently broke up with Mark, right? Baby. Why do you even love her? She doesn't even care about you. All she ever does is break your heart, Arthur. She doesn't deserve someone best like you, Arthur. You deserve someone better for you. I gotta keep my promise. What kind of promise? Is she even keeping her promise? She forgot about it, Arthur! She doesn't care! She doesn't freaking care! Stop! Shut up! Arthur... I love her, okay? And I'll do everything I can for her. Just to get her. And I'll do everything. Y you'll see. Fine then, I'll surely wait and see, but you need to accept the truth that you'll never have the courage to confess your feelings to her. I'm leaving, bye. Did you hear that Jimmy's going to announce something in front of everyone at the auditorium today? Yeah, I even got the invitation. Oh my gosh, same here! I wonder what he's going to announce though. What are they talking about? Sup? I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, hi, Jimmy. I mean, Jim. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What are you doing here? You don't read books, right? Or at least you don't look like the type of person to read fictional stories. Why are you here? What do you need? I've come here to invite you. Here, take this. What's this? What are you going to announce, and why should I be there? Oh man, it seems like I'm being interviewed right now. <laughs> well, you see, this announcement is like a little surprise for you. So you need to be there, or else you miss out. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you at the auditorium. Do you have any idea what it could be, hmm? I have no idea, but it does sound suspicious to me. Hello 
ladies and gentlemen. What is he doing up there? As you all might be wondering, why are we here? Why did I bring all of you here? And the answer is, it's very simple. I just want to confess my feelings to somebody that I've been with for 13 years now. Who is he even talking about? She has beautiful brown hair with her beautiful looks. She loves red so much, and her name starts with R. What the? And it's no one but you, Ruby. You're the one who made me fall in love with you so much. And now, I'd like you to please come up on stage so I can confess my feelings to you in person to show everyone how much I love you. Would you please come up on the stage? I, uh, I... Aw, come on, girl, go! <laughs> Jimmy, what has gotten into you all of a sudden? It's just love, Ruby. Ever since childhood, I wasn't able to stop dreaming about being with you. Do, do you really love me? I do. Do you love me too? What the freak is happening? <laughs> yes, yes, I love you too! <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love you so much! How are you feeling now? Huh? What happened? You and your friend got into a car accident. Well, almost. But you saved him, and you saved yourself too, which is good. Where's my friend? Is he okay? Did he get hurt? No, he's doing perfectly fine. You could actually meet him. Follow me. Sure. He's passed out right now, but I hope he'll wake up here soon. Thanks, nurse. My pleasure. <sighs> Why do you do this, Arthur? Why did you never... Believe in me, or in my love. What's so perfect about Ruby? <sighs> I wish I could tell you about my feelings. <sighs> Why is Arthur not picking up the calls? Oh, here he is! Coming! Oh my gosh, what happened to you guys? Did you get into a fight? What happened? We're perfectly fine. Please, don't worry. <laughs> but, but wait, son! What happened? Please tell me. <sighs> He's not in a very good mood right now, aunt. Why? What happened? Ruby got into a relationship, and then we almost got through an accident. What? Thank God, I pushed him, so we were saved. 
Thank you so much, honey. It's not a problem. I'll go check up on him. Arthur? It's getting very late, Natasha. You should go back to your place, or else my mom would mind you being here this late. Nah, don't think too much about it. She doesn't mind it. And plus, I'm not like Ruby who would leave someone like that. Don't compare yourself to her. She's the best. Oh yeah? Maybe that's why she forgot her promise, huh? Natasha, you- Now you listen to me! Have you ever confessed to Ruby like Jimmy has? Huh? Tell me, have you? So how do you expect her to keep your promise, huh? What's going on? Take care, Arthur. And keep in mind that you already lost Ruby, and now you've lost a friend as well. Don't contact me ever again! Hello? Hey, Arthur. <laughs> Where have you been? What do you mean? I've been around this whole time. Were you at the auditorium yesterday? <laughs> I'm sure you were because Jimmy had invited every single student there. Yes, I was there. Sitting in the back alone. By the way, how does it feel being loved? <sighs> to be very honest, at first, I thought Jimmy was a bad guy, but no, I found out he's very sweet, nice, and caring, and he loves me very much. <laughs> well, good for you. So, basically, I want to invite you to the dance party tonight, so you have to come. <laughs> Is he going to be there? Are you talking about Jimmy? Oh yeah, we basically threw the party, so... <laughs> of course, he's going to be there to give you company, and I'll be there too! Don't worry, you won't be feeling left out. <laughs> okay, I'll come. Thanks for your invitation. Bye-bye! And remember, 7pm is a strict time, alright? Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Bye. Okay, don't worry, girl. I'll be there at the exact time. <laughs> yeah, have a good life. <laughs> Bye! <sighs> oh, oh, who's at the door at this hour? Coming! Huh? Arthur? Can I come in? Yeah, of course. Sure. I actually want to apologize for everything I said to you last night. I was in a great anger. Oh, red roses, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just figured you'd like them, so... Well, yeah, I probably understood your feelings, so I didn't mind. But you left. Actually, I didn't leave. You made me leave. I had no choice but to give you some time to relax. <sighs> she invited me to her party. I know, she invited me too. But hey, are you gonna go? I was planning to go, but... I don't know how I'm gonna face her. <laughs> We've been friends with her for so long, Arthur. I don't think it would be that difficult to face her. <laughs> I mean it, Natasha. 
Hmm. In that case, I have a better plan. I'll be back, babe. All right. Ooh, check it out. He's there. Should I go? Do you really have to? Yeah, just wait and watch. Natasha, please stop. I don't want to do this. Hey, it'll be all right. Trust me, I'll be back. Hey, Jimmy Poo. <laughs> oh, it's Jim. But you can call me that. <laughs> okay, girls. <laughs> I need to go now. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, come on. We were enjoying it so much. Yeah, don't go. I wish, but hey, I do need to head back, so. <laughs> but you girls have fun. So. What do you do? Right now, just adoring you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh no! The room is going that way! Damn! So, I was wondering if you'd like to hang out with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to. What is going on? Uh, nothing. What are you doing, Jimmy? And with my own best friend? How could you? Uh, I, uh, I, g girl. You just shut up. You were like a best friend to me. And you do this? Wait, hold up, guys. Relax. Why should I relax, huh? Didn't you see what she did? She... I told her to. What? She did it because I told her to. Why? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> Let's go, Jimmy. Arthur, I'm really sorry. I thought it was going to work. Thanks for dropping me off. <sighs> Bye. She just won't understand. What is it, Natasha? What? What are you talking about? But but how? When? She, she's getting married. What? And then there I was, packing my stuff and planning to leave, hoping I'd never return. Never. Ever. Arthur! Arthur, where are you? Arthur! Arthur, what are you doing? Packing my stuff and leaving. What? Where are you going? I have no reason to stay here, Natasha. I don't have anyone here for me. You're wrong. You have your mother and you have me. Please, Arthur, stop this wedding. We have to stop this wedding! Jimmy is not the right person for her! I can't do anything, sadly. Yes, we can. Just listen to me. Go! <laughs>
Wow, you look so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, super gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> well, see you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Is that you girls? Dang, did you girls forget something? Huh? Arthur? What are you doing here? What are you doing, Ruby? How can you forget our promise? What kind of promise? What are you talking about? You promised to be mine forever and ever. Are you going crazy? What are you even expecting, Arthur? We were just kids back then. Things are different now. It's been ten years. I still remember the promise we made. Arthur, get away from me. I'm getting married today. I don't have any stupid amount of time to listen to your nonsense, okay? Now move from my way. I need to go. Ruby! Please... Please don't go. No. <laughs> no. That's how our story ended. Wow, Dad! That was an amazing story! <laughs> Sarah! Sarah! Yes, Mommy? Sarah, I prepared you breakfast. Quickly go downstairs and finish it. I'll go get your backpack. Okay, Mommy. Love you! <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, my sweetheart. Hey, love. I need to ask you something. Hmm? What is it? Do you want to make a promise? What kind of promise? Do you promise me that you'll be mine? Just mine? <laughs> Pinky promise. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too.